Boss, and the answer is, injury. I broke my own. <laughs> <laughs> Not while he's landing, while he's landing they don't do shit. Or the helicopter doesn't do shit. I guess I'll have to do it. Mini gun. Fly away. Extraction arrived at Mother Base. Good, we captured it alive. The heavy in infantry is repeatable? What? By oh, the flashback mission? No, it's not a flashback, it's just a side op. It's like lit up again. Oh, I don't know. Wait, maybe it's Wait are you talking about the target practice thing? No, the eliminate the heavy infantry. I don't know. Whatever. I know after I did uh, after I did it once I did I get do like number two number three blah blah. Dude, I'm about to pull out the cigar. What's this dude waiting for? Oh, I can't use the cigar. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. It stops me from using the cigar. So now I gotta wait? I don't get it. Alright, well, I followed the interpreter. Extract the target when you find it. Okay, got it.
new mother base started out as a test drilling rig operated by a mineral. Oh, so I just obtained a, a, that's another suppressor. Just find it on Santa House. It was just scrap on stilts. I'm finding So with a few dummy construction companies set up as fronts, we started renovating the half finished rig. Oh my god, I got spotted. Nice. Back on rails. Cause you what? I see what you're doing. Recreating the mother base we had nine years ago. Only this time. That's right. The mother base Cypher thought they destroyed will return from the grave to kill them. We'll prove to the world that we were the victors. And if we lose again? They can't fool us the same way twice. Now our enemies are in plain sight. And when our organization gets too big, we split it across companies. Any company that draws attention gets liquidated, and its capital is back-channeled into a new company. Most PFs are small-time operations anyway. And in this business, the minnows go bankrupt all the time. We've never aroused suspicion. Plus, we have Hewick. Hewick? Human Exploitation Company. It's a business specializing in intel gathering. Think of it as a civilian intelligence agency. Cause that... Remember what they were trying to accomplish at the prison facility in Cuba? That gave me the idea. We dispatch moles into conflict zones around the world, and each sets up an intel network on site. Then they stay in place to give us stable points of contact when other nations intervene in the conflicts. Hewick's strength is that it has a cutout at each level. You get your job from one guy, then you hand it off to another. No one has direct access. It's a perfect black box. Hewick members also work their way into the superpowers intelligence agencies to make sure Diamond Dogs gets work. We have those countries by the balls. That's our deterrent when we need it. Networking? In the intelligence community? Sure, that's how we've grown this far. And when you go out on missions, intel from Hewick will be there to back you up. But despite all that, Cypher has its eyes on us. The only reason I'm not dead is that they needed to know where you were. Figured if you woke up, I'd go straight to you. That's why you made that ruckus at the Zero Line. Yeah, to make their own surveillance work against them. I think it took some of the heat off Cyprus. Cause. Then I just had to wait for you to save me. And I've gotten used to waiting. Cause. That's not all. It was a good chance to scout the market. And with the West wanting the Soviets out of Afghanistan, their agencies are bursting at the seams with funding. Boss, let's start by building up our Afghan presence. Why put Mother Base in the Seychelles? We're at the center of the world here. We're all the way out in the Indian Ocean. Come on. Lebanon, Sri Lanka, East Timor, and Africa. From here, our reach extends to conflict zones the world over, including Afghanistan, of course. So it's prime real estate for a mercenary. Exactly. Latin America isn't as close as I'd like, but we have Amanda and her people to help in that department. And besides, the Seychelles government owes us a favor. Owes us? The Seychelles... Oh my god, I got blasted. It came to a head three years ago, in an attempted coup. It was a force of South African mercenaries, with U.S. backing behind the scenes. They were only platoon size, but South Africa is home to some heavy PFs. Too much for the Seychelles to handle. In the end, they accepted help from the Tanzanian army, and quelled the coup. We set up the deal and handled on-site tactical instruction. That led to some training work for the Seychelles military. And when we put down a mutiny within their forces, well, we made a lot of people happy. They don't pay us. They just let us have a piece of their offshore territory on the promise we'll come running if something else happens. So we're bodyguards, too. It's a good setup. We can only take Mother Base so far here. We'll have to find somewhere else when this place starts getting big. Aren't you being a little hasty? Nothing hasty about it. You're back with us now. Roger. So, cause the ship that took us from Cyprus, it used to be a whaler. Yeah, a Japanese vessel. How was the voyage? It was... stimulating. <laughs> well, she was part of a whaling fleet up until a few years ago. Her displacement isn't anything to write home about, but she can really move. She still had plenty of life left in her, but then the work dried up. Global opposition to whaling has been mounting for years. Is that right? The push to ban it has been gaining traction for a little over a decade. Individual species came under protection as the years went on. And then two years ago, the IWC adopted a moratorium on commercial whaling. Several countries, including Japan, fought it to the bitter end. 
But eventually, most whaling companies had no choice but to go to town. You ever tried whale snake? Can't say that I have. When I was a kid in Japan, practically everybody ate it. That good, huh? The country was poor in those days, and whale was cheap. International opinions changed since then. In any case, that's why we were able to get a bargain price on the ship. Of course, we did end up spending five times the purchase price in modifications. We had to really work to fit in all the ESM and communications gear while keeping the whaler look intact. Right now, she's going around conducting SIGIN missions. In the future, we plan to use her as a communications relay base between you and Mother Base, and also as a chopper resupply vessel. Diamond docks. The word diamond originally comes from the Greek Adamas. It means indomitable, unyielding. Other words for the stones often mean eternal bond. Extraction arrived at the mother base. Diamond docks. The word diamond originally comes from the Greek Adamas. It means indomitable, unyielding. Other words for the stones often mean eternal bond, fortitude, or purity. The same is true of the Star of Bethlehem flowers you laid on the boss's grave. They represent innocence, as well as chastity, yielding to no man while maintaining one's virtue. In other words, staying loyal to something. Land expansion complete. the sniper and create an all new sniper. Oh wait, what the hell? It's the same thing. Oh, in 2000 looks way better than that. Mm-hmm. So I'm using. Rocket launcher thing, just in case a tank or something. Nah. Please select a mission. Usually, when there's one tank, there's two tanks, and I just steal the other tank. <laughs> this Masi Laman was full of Mujahideen, the Hamid fighters. Then suddenly they disappeared overnight, and the Soviets moved right in. I guess the old fort is still in good enough shape that the Soviets want to use it as is. This means that the battalion commander stationed in Sakai village, a lieutenant colonel, is moving his operations room to the fort. Word is, he's an excellent leader. With him stationed at Smasi Fort, the Soviet forces in the area will operate all the better. And according to the client's information, he'll be bringing a tank unit to the fort as well. We don't know the redeployment date or the route they'll take, but there must be some planning documentation where the colonel is. You have two objectives. Eliminate the colonel and stop the tank deployment. Counting on you, boss. All right. Eliminate the colonel and stop the tank deployment. Well, that was a fun one. I don't like how you said that. Heading to Afghanistan. <laughs> All right. I think I got everything I'm gonna need. You want me to give you a tip, bro? A pro tip? What's that? 